everybody. Welcome to Winning Runs today. I have Tammy Key Fisher here with me. Thanks, Tammy, for joining us today. Tammy, as you well know, is a multi WNFR qualifier. She also set arena record uh, on round pin, which this is him right here who joined us. She's a multi futurity and derby winner. She's um, won an AQHA world champion and has done quite a few things that, you know, we've seen you on TV win Rodeo Houston and uh, quite a few Rodeo Reno as well. Uh, we'd like to thank Tammy for coming on today. She's going to talk about how to make your horse have that winning turn. And uh, as you've seen, Tammy, you've seen round pin and her at the finals run and have lightning quick turns. She's going to show us today exactly how to get that quick and fast, smooth turn. Uh, Tammy, tell me your philosophy on getting a horse to turn like you can. I think the most important thing about the turn is to be round, to keep moving, to go forward. That barrel is round. It never has a point where it hits and stops and sucks back. I think if you can keep your horse moving and keep him round like that barrel is and basically just run a circle, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about the ruts. You don't have to worry about hitting a barrel. It can be fast. There's no, oh my gosh, I got to get to this point and I got to hit right here and suck back. It gives you a little room for error and it lets your horse keep moving and it's the fastest way to get there. Well, I've seen you make awesome turns and also have to, what we call the Tammy Key move, which is lift your leg up because it's so close and so fast around it. I'm going to have to get you to show me how to do that. So let's get started on learning how to have that lightning fast turn with Tammy. Okay, when I start the barrels, I do everything slow. I am a firm believer that in if you can't do it at a trot, you will never, ever do it at a lope. Um, my approach to the barrels is a little straighter, not straight at the barrel, but straight beside it. I want this much room from me to the barrel, and I stop my horse with his head almost even. I take my outside foot, I push him in so that his body is like this. That barrel is like that, and I want him to go into it like that. I want his shoulder up, and the first step I take around the barrel, I don't want to be towards the barrel. I don't want to check him and have him run over the barrel. So when I check him, I want him to pick his head up, shape, and go out and around. And I want a perfect circle all the way around the barrel. Just like if you were in school and you took your little protractor and set it on that barrel, I want a perfect circle. I want to go all the way around this barrel. I want his head to stay bent. I want him to look just like the inside of that barrel where it's kind of round like that. And I don't want to have to have a fight with him to do it. Every time my butt hits the saddle, I want my hand to bounce because basically I want to ask him to turn. I don't want to make him turn. I want to make it where when I'm running, it's really easy for him to just come with me. When I get closer to the barrel, I just drop my hand and ask him to follow my hand around the barrel and come out just like that. Whoa. So if you were going to come to this barrel and you wanted to start, you would just leave the alley and you trot up here right beside it, get to the barrel and sit down, let him sit here just a minute, move his butt over and in, whoa, whoa, and then go up and around the barrel, always forward first and then around. Once you got it down at a trot, then kick it up and lope a little bit. Oh, nice and easy, no steady pressure on that rein. When your butt hits the saddle, your hand should bounce because if you have constant pressure on the rein, your horse is going to fight with you and he's going to get mad because you're pulling on him all the time. So if you can release that rein a little bit and just let him stay right there and just ask him to turn the whole way around, he'll stay the same. Now when I'm going to go to the next barrel, I'm not going to cut my circle off. I'm going to come all the way around right here. And when my leg passes the barrel, then I'm going to pick up my outside rein and ask him to move over and go to the next barrel. Whoa. OK, when I go to the first barrel and I start, I like to try to hit the center of the alley and go down the arena. Not so much to the barrel, but to the spot where I want to go. Uh, I'm not a fan of pick you a spot on the fence. I'm a fan of you're going to the barrel, look at the barrel. 
Think about the barrel, think about the ground, and think about where you want your horse to go. Your hands follow your eyes. So if you look at where you're going, that's where your hands are gonna take you. You want to have that nice pocket. You wanna be nice and smooth around the barrel. You don't wanna be in a hurry. When you come around the back side of this barrel, you're gonna let your leg pass. Then you're gonna straighten him up to go to the next barrel. You're gonna come nice and easy across here. Not a big pocket, just about that much room. Almost at the barrel. I wanna move his shoulders over and we're gonna go up and around the barrel. Nice and smooth. Don't let him cut it off anywhere. Stay the same distance all the way around. Um, generally, if my horse is doing good, I go around the barrel two times and go to the next barrel. The fastest way to get through is to do it right. So if they're not doing it right, we do it again. Whoa, whoa, let's get over. Butt in, shoulder out, forward and around. Whoa, whoa. Same thing, when you're ready to go home, let your leg pass, straighten him up to go home. Tammy, we always do kind of a question and answer type Whoa. deal to compare the trainers to the two, not who's good or bad or who's better or not better. You know, we go around the same pattern, but we all get there different ways. So in order to help our viewers, because they always ask me questions, I'm like, well, I don't know. You know, I don't know what goes through <laughs> her mind. I can only tell you what I can do. But there's some things that I saw earlier that I know people would want to have, you know, questions about. One is I see that you stop your horse uh, some of the trainers that we've had on, you know, they'll transition down from a walk, from a trot to a walk and stuff like that. So tell me why you stop your horse. I saw where you kicked your horse's hind end over. So sh tell me why you do that. Um, I stop a little further out than most people because I'm not stopping for set. I'm stopping for that point where you'd check. When you're running wide open, no matter how hard you try, you cannot wait till you get to the barrel and then pull. I mean, you're gonna get this far from it right here and you're gonna go, oh my God, I'm going too fast, I need to pull. Okay, when I pull, that's what I want right there. I want him to shape up. I want him to put his butt in when I stop right here so that he doesn't fling his butt out when I'm going around the turn. I want him to know that when I pull, this is the position I want. So I want him to get ready, but not come in. And when I pull, I want him to keep moving forward and come around the barrel. I don't ever want him to jerk and cut me off and come in. So I stop a little further back here, where his head's just a little before even with the barrel, because that's where you're gonna check. And when I check, I wanna squeeze with that outside foot, cause you're gonna be standing on it. And I want his head to shape up. I want his body to round out, but I want my butt to stay with me. I never want his butt like this and his body close to the barrel, because then we're going at the barrel. We're not going around it. I want his butt in, I want his body to be arched, and I want it to be round. That barrel is round, I want him to be round. It's my best chance at getting around it. So he can come around it really fast, he can stay moving, stay forward, and go. Um, the big circles that I do versus the little circles that other people do mm -hmm. are personal preference. My theory has always been, you're gonna cut everything in half when you go fast because it's gonna happen faster, your horse is gonna set harder, you're gonna pull harder. So my horse is this long, mm -hmm. okay? So when I lope my big circles, I wanna be this far from the barrel. Mm -hmm. So if I cut that in half, that's this much room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how much room right there. I have to get by the barrel when I'm running. Mm -hmm. This much follows me. So if I cut this in half, this is this much. That's the perfect theory for me to get around that barrel without hitting it. Okay. That's mm -hmm. my thought. And you're that's all for today, folks. Join us next month for a brand new show. Let's play some All right, let's do it. Yeah!